How's it going guys? Here's your tech tip of the week. Today we're gonna to talk about front suspension and traction and setup and what these knobs do on your fourth. Lots of people question what these do. Most people don't touch them or mess with them, uh, but this can really affect the performance and the ride of your bike. If these aren't set correctly or kind of within the ballpark, uh, you're not getting the uh, full performance of your suspension. Uh, in this particular model, we're dealing with the RockShock Yari. This bike will have a compression knob on top. Generally, it'll be blue. Blue will always, or for the most part, indicate your compression control or how hard it is to make the shock go down. You can see if I turn this up all the way, it's very stiff. Uh, you'd want this to be a little bit stiffer if you're gonna be going off some big hits or jumps, you know you're gonna be really compressing the fork far. I'd want to turn the compression up a little bit just so I'm not bottoming out at the bottom of those hits. You see when I turn it off, it's a lot softer. Um, again, if you have this set to where it's really fast and stagnant or not stagnant, um, that can affect your traction against the ground also. Uh, you'll see on the bottom, most of these shocks, they will have a red rebound knob. Again, it's red to indicate how fast this fork springs back. And in this case, there's even a little turtle that tells you if you turn it this way, turtle means slow, rabbit means it's gonna go faster. Uh, as you see, as I turn this guy down, as slow as it'll go, it springs back really, really slow. As I turn this guy fast to the rabbit, you can see it springs back so fast, really quick. Again, if this is coming back really quick and you're on smooth terrain, it's not gonna want to uh, track it on the ground very well and you're gonna have lots of performance with your bike. That's your tech tip of the week. Thanks for watching.